We are live in the Plant Power Woman group for the Plant Power Woman show. I'm vegan coach Naomi. I am a certified vegan lifestyle coach and plant-based weight loss and health transformation coach. And so Deb is uh, one of the women that I have worked for, worked with in this past year, and she has met her dream weight loss goal on her one year anniversary. So it's not only that Deb's coming here to tell her story, but also we're celebrating with her. So high <laughs> five, Deb. Um, please tell us, uh, how did you learn about the plant-based diet and what was your weight and your health like before uh, we worked together? What were you struggling with? What were you thinking? Um, my weight was 167. I was very lethargic. Um, I had been diagnosed with prehypertension. Um, no diabetes or anything, but I still felt like I was healthy. I felt like I, I was okay. Because it wasn't so bad, right? That's right. It wasn't so bad then. Okay, so then what happened? Well, I found your group, um, you know, strolling along on Facebook, and I've been to a couple of your retreats, and I was introduced to whole food, plant-based eating. At and the I retreats? So wait, so you, you, the first time you really were introduced to it was at the retreats? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you I had read about it, and not, I had read about vegetarian Mm -hmm. but I had never practiced it. And you had seen the documentaries like Forks Over Knives and things like that? Yes. Yeah, so you came to the retreat. Did you come to the one with Dr. Patel? Yes, I came to two and they both had Dr. Patel there. And I remember that you also um, gave a scholarship to someone, remember? Yes, I do. I hope she enjoyed it. It was so lo lovely and she did enjoy it so much and it made a big difference to her and her children. I don't know if you remember, she was a younger woman who had children. So, uh, all right, let's see who's here today. Linda Combs, Gail, high five. Nice to see you here. Teresa Pringle says, congrats, Deb. Thank uh, you. Linda says, yay, Deb. Carla, nice to see you here. Carla is one of our diet rebels in the Wednesday group. Debbie, Deb was in the Thursday group for about six months, right, Deb? Yes. Oh, Pam is on. Remember Pam? I remember. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. She says, congratulations, Deb. Pam, this is uh, Deb's one-year anniversary, and she has met her 40-pound weight loss dream goal that she set when she first came into the group. Trisha says, hello, ladies. Jeannie, do you remember Deb? Deb, do you remember Jeannie? Jeannie yes, also came came to the retreat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Trisha was at one of those retreats as well. Were you the one that she was at? Yes, she was there at the Devil's Devil's Den. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got lots of people on here. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, um, so let me ask you this. So what was going on in your life and in your mind that made you want to plunk down your money for an investment like this in yourself and in your health when you were so kind of not really thinking it was that bad, that kind of thing? Like what really was going on? Well, the turning factor was when I was laying in bed with a broken ankle. Ah. And I, I mean, laying, and I usually, I'm active, but I was gaining weight and like the underwear along the thigh, it was kind of hard to get my finger there. And I'm there. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> Cause I was already like a hundred. Did I, is that too much information? No, 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 no. You guys, you guys, visible panty lines, uh, underwear being too tight, not being able to get it out. Like, tell me if that's ever happened to you, because I totally know what you're talking about. And let me tell you, Underwear that's too tight is like a total misery. Am I right, you guys? Am I right? All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Um, let's see. Where was I? Um, underwear too tight. Couldn't get your finger. Underwear were too tight. And I'm there going, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to be able to get up and do anything for a while with this broken ankle. So that was when I was able to get up and start working out again. I went ahead and I 
sent you that one emoji of somebody being pushed up over the fence. I said, this is it. Because at 167 pounds and being, I think I was 68, 68, getting older and heavier. Oh no, I did not want that. And I, how, I just, how, And how tall are you? Five foot? Oh, one. I'm five. I'm 60 inches. <laughs> 60, five feet. Okay. Yeah, five so, foot. You, so you just didn't want that to continue like that? Uh, no, no, that's not what I wanted. No. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so I remember that once you made up your mind, you like jumped right in and you got started right away. So what's the one thing that you now know, having gone through this entire transformation, what's the one thing that you now know that stopped you before at succeeding and losing weight any other way um, in the past? What's the one Uh, thing that you now know? I did it to myself. I would lose weight and I would gain weight because of my attitude. I would let myself go and say, well, I can go ahead and eat this or that because I have lost like 10 pounds. It's not going to hurt me to have an ice cream cone. Well, then it would be, you know, more ice cream cones, et cetera. Oh, so like that, that attitude of like, well, I could just do it this once and it doesn't matter. And I did so good. I call that my cocky attitude. Your yes. cocky attitude. I call it flip-flopping back and forth, right? On and yes, off, and in and that's out. That's another thing. I watched that video, flip-flopping, and yeah. that was also another thing that went bing, bing. I'm doing it. Bing, bing. Yeah. I'm doing it. Who here is new in the group and has not seen that flip-flopping video? If you are, comment flip-flopping. And uh, one of my green goddesses, Gail or Susan, will send you that video. It's very good. Because that's what you got to stop doing if you want to turn your health around like Deb did. That's what you got to do. All right. Next question. What is the one piece of advice coming from your place of experience that you'd give someone desperate to turn their health around um, and who's considering a whole food plant-based diet? Um, I would tell them to get guidance during the, um, if they want to do whole food plant-based diet, get guidance so that they know they're eating the correct nutrients and not just green salads all the time. Ah, um, right. And I would also tell them to read, uh, what is that? There's a starch solution and there's um, the dying one. How, How not, not to, to die. die. Yeah. And then the other one by Dr. Estelin, reversing heart disease. Estelin. That one is really, it's really easy to read and mm-hmm. it has a lot of information in it. And it depends on what the person, are they concerned about high cholesterol, stroke, you know, and then I would decide which book would be for them. Exactly. Each book is from a different point of view. And there's a book for everyone because this whole food plant-based lifestyle um, it cures whatever ails you, all of it, right? Yes, so it let's let's circle back to that salad point that you made. What happens <laughs> if you get too strict and you're like, oh, all I can eat is green salads? What happens? Uh, that's not good. You're not getting your um, nutrients from your grains. You're not getting your other vegetables. Uh, you're not getting protein. You don't need a lot of protein but you're not getting, you know, nutrients from your beans and everything. It's- so, so the way I teach it, tell me if this is correct. Uh, what you're really not getting when you eat just green salads after green salads, or you're like, oh, only fruits and veggies. That's all I can have. When you do that, you don't feel satisfied. And so then you fall off easily, right? You, you're not yes. full. You're not satisfied. You're not happy with what you're eating. You're just on another shitty diet. That's the way I look at it. That's right. Yes. It causes that flip-flopping. All right. Let's see. Donna says, what's the one from Dr. Esselstyn? It's called prevent and reverse heart disease. You can Google that. Uh, Trisha says she remembers that retreat. Delina says, do you have these listed or could they be added here? The books? I can add the books, Delina. Okay. 
That's a great question. I will add the names of those books. I think I also have a video of all the books and I also have a picture of the entire book pile. There's a lot of books. Um, okay, all right. So that's a really good point. Very good point. Um, okay, so to get help so that you do it the right way so that you don't waste time and fall off again and have to go through the whole rigmarole all over again, right? Right. Okay, all right. What's the, mo the one most important piece of information you learned together, uh, together in our group about adopting a whole food plant-based lifestyle? One, one thing, it is doable. It's totally doable. It's yes. totally doable. And you get to eat foods that you love. And after a while, it just becomes a way of life. Uh, so even I when you go... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So how, how, like most women on here, tell me if I'm wrong, you guys, you'd be like, how do you stick to that forever? So you're saying it becomes a way of life because you're eating delicious foods. So for example, what are some of your favorite dinners? Okay. Cooking is not my favorite thing to do. So mm -hmm. if I make anything, it has to be easy. So okay. I like the three ingredient burgers, do it in a double batch. So I've got some in the freezer Smart and cookie. I like, <laughs> and I like it with the, um, your lip smacking barbecue sauce. Oh, you do. My, I know. Now I like the, um, bar, I like barbecued lentils and then some pasta with some vegan cheese made out of the carrot potato or that red pepper one oh. with the sauce and the hot sauce. And that way I've got a barbecue plate there you know, mac and cheese and barbecued lentils. Now, if I cook, I like that. I'm going to say it wrong. Chicken fricasse. Chicky fricasse. <laughs> chicky. I like that chicky dinner. Yes. Chicky fricasse is the one with the soy curls. You can Google, you can search that on my website. It's called chicky fricasse. And then my go-to, I like to nuke me like about seven potatoes. And then have me potatoes in the uh, refrigerator. And then I'll take like some peas and broccoli. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing this on a plate. Yeah. Peas and broccoli and corn. And then I'll put some beans there and I'll sprinkle cumin on it. And then I'll throw my baked potato on there and some salsa and then nuke that. And that's my go-to meal. She loves that. But yes. Are, are you the one that also puts gravy on lots of stuff too? Like lots yes, grateful gravy is oh wow, it's wonderful to have that. And I also I was gonna bring it in here, but I didn't. Um ah. I freeze pack stuff. Oh like I, smart. Like I have um some hummus I made in 2021 and it's I just so took it out because I love mayonnaise and I can't have mayonnaise. Right. You mean so we don't want the, wait, wait, you mean we don't want mayonnaise. No, no, no. I don't even miss it now, but no, at don't first, want it. it was hard at first. It's, you know what? A lot of women come in here saying, oh, my mayonnaise and oh, my vegan butter, and my vegan mayonnaise. And you know what? Once you, your taste buds reset and you start eating what you think is delicious to you. So what's delicious to Deb, she's a Southern girl. She's looking for that barbecue taste or that gravy kind of thing. Uh, that might not be your favorite thing, but what we do is we find each woman's favorite things for her. And that's how you make your menu, right? Right. Okay. And that makes it doable. And that makes it doable. And so the way we did it when you first came in is you did one new recipe a week, right? right. And you built from there. And I remember you were in the preppers club for several <laughs> months and you cooked with us and you did it. Yeah. Um, Linda says she had chicky fricassee tonight. Yum. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Pam says, I never saw this recipe. Just you guys, okay? Uh, I create two brand new recipes every single month. If you have not looked on the website in a while, or you've been away from this group for a while, or I don't know what your deal is, you should be looking there every month because there are brand new, amazing recipes that have been tested and cooked in the Plant Power Preppers Club, which is our fun plant-based cooking club. And uh, you don't know what you're missing out on if you're not looking at the recipes all the time. All right. 
Uh, and you guys who are on the live stream, if you have any questions for Deb about how she did it or what she likes or how she stuck to it, please drop your questions in the comments so that we can ask her. Okay. All right. Let's have another question. What was the one most surprising thing that you learned about yourself during this health transformation and working in the Diet Rebel group on yourself? Oh, wow. Um, to admit that I was not a tough person like I thought I was. Um, I used to get uh, very defensive towards people and mm -hmm. kind of nasty towards people. Um, and if I was a stronger person, I wouldn't be that way. But that's a lot of honesty. So that toughness was really kind of like a defense mechanism and a coping skill. Yes, it was. Yes. And it was a fake front. That you really don't even need anymore. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why don't you need it? What happened? Because I'm me. And I am... I'm not going to say beautiful. Okay, this is when I start saying good things about myself or being proud of myself, mm -hmm. it is not being conceited. I used to think it meant being conceited. Um, now I forgot the question. <laughs> uh, the, one, the one most important thing you learned about yourself okay. is to, and then you're talking about saying good things to yourself is not conceited. It's part of important self-care and you didn't used to let yourself say those good things you had a big tough girl front and now I wouldn't, even let, I wouldn't even let myself go shopping I felt I too remember. I felt too self-conscious I felt like people would be looking at me saying what is she even doing looking at those cute little clothes how dare then, she be looking at cute clothes I remember you we talked yeah. about that in the limiting beliefs lesson when we were yeah. rewiring limiting beliefs and, and your homework was to like walk into the store for no good reason and just like walk over to whatever you want and, and talk back to that voice. So now I'll wear shorts. I have a nice pair of shorts and I can even wear a smaller size and I'll go in public with them. I Damn even wore straight. black leggings in public. So. And, didn't you, and didn't you look beautiful? So the, the leggings from... Uh, let me share my screen. The leggings from your photo, right? Right. That was out at the reunion. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can share my screen. Hold on. Let's see. Share. Here we go. All right. Can you guys see that? There's Deb. That's how she used to look. <laughs> oh, wow. That's how she used to look. And this is how she looks now in her black leggings. 40 pounds, you guys. 40 pounds. I couldn't be more proud. And you know what? It's it's good to be proud of yourself. You deserve to feel good. We all deserve to feel good. That is your birthright. You're born as a baby to feel good in this universe. That's what the sun and the beautiful blue sky, like why would God have created all this beautiful shit if you're supposed to feel crappy all the time? No. I know. And feeling crappy is a waste of time. It's a waste of life. And you're never going to get that time or I'll never get you know, all my time back. So true. I'm so glad you said that. All right, let's see what everybody here is saying. Okay. Uh, Delina's asking, was your family supportive? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, when I went on vacation, even last week, my sister says, well, we'll go where you can eat. You know, okay, she makes so you choose. Right. You choose. My husband. Oh, yes. He lets me eat what I want. <laughs> so you don't cook for your husband. He gets his own food. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So this is a, a, a situation where, and this could be common for many women. So we have, you know, three different types of relationships in this group. Um, there will be women with a husband who is supportive and will eat whatever the woman cooks and they kind of do it together or he will, you know, eat whatever he wants when he's out. But when he's home, he'll eat whatever she does and support her that way. Then we have the men who are not interested in this whole food plant based diet and they will just fix their own dinner, eat out, do whatever they do. And the woman does whatever she needs to do for herself. And then there's like the the in between 
where it's just like half and half. So uh, it looks like you had the kind where you had the autonomy to just, you know, handle your food, right? Right. And how long did it take? This was flabbergasting. How long did it take before your husband noticed that you were losing weight? Remember? Remember yeah. the patio doors I'm comment? Oh my gosh, yes. Well, that was really even many years ago before. Um, I remember <laughs> that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to say it was about 20 pounds when he said that something like, um, looks like mama's losing her ass. Yeah. He's <laughs> so kind. Uh, Delina <laughs> says, what surprised you most? I guess about the whole journey or the weight loss. The whole, oh my gosh. How, the, how it kept coming off yeah it just kept coming off um like mine was really slow I mean 40 pounds in a whole year is like less than a pound a week or maybe half a pound at the very most a week well there's 52 weeks in a year and 40 pounds so it's more than a pound and it's less than a pound a week but more than a half a pound so it was pretty okay. steady pretty steady uh Okay, let's, okay, so this is the same question. I'm going to ask it to you again. What's the one thing you noticed about how the weight comes off and how your body responded to the whole food plant-based way of eating? No oil. Um, the one thing? Well, we, we, we just said that your weight loss was pretty slow and steady but it just kept coming off and you're, and you're going to keep going with it. You said, right. Yes. That was enough. Just even just half a pound a week was enough to make me go, okay, let's try it again next week. Let's keep going. But then it wasn't all, it wasn't all about weight loss because each week we had wins and sometimes a win might've been, Oh, I went to the store wearing shorts or I bought another pair of pants or I tried a new recipe and we got away from uh, weight loss in, in, in numbers. Yes, yeah. I, re I remember that very well. And so that's wins we do at the beginning of each Diet Rebel meeting. We talk about our wins so that we can focus on those positive aspects of our lives every week. And then, um, and then we also had the health transformation tracker. So what happened with your health? What improved? Um, uh, mood swings disappeared. Um, the bone on bone on my knee, the arthritis, the, and uh, well, arthritis. Yeah. Um, it's where is it? I don't have to put that cream on anymore. I mean, that's 40 pounds less on that joint. And isn't 40 pounds, 160 pounds. It's 40 times four, four pounds. So 160 pounds on each knee. That's gone. That's the amount of pressure for every pound that you're overweight equals four pounds on each knee. So 160 pounds of pressure is relieved from your knee. So that bone on bone arthritis that the doctor said you were going to have forever is feeling a lot better, right? Oh, yes, it is. Yes. What about your blood pressure and your cholesterol? Oh, the blood pressure. Uh, the doctor, she isn't even worried about it anymore. Yeah. Uh, because I did a a lipid panel six months after I had one done and oh wow I was good to begin with already but I was at the upper range now I'm down in the middle range and that is another thing that will keep me on this whole food plant-based diet no oil no dairy because I do not want my cholesterol to be high I remember uh, one of the things you wrote, like in a visualization that you wanted your arteries to be free and clear, flowing free like, and clear. Yes, a Russian river. Like a rushing yes. river. All right, let's see if there's any questions here. Um, Susan says, you look awesome. Jeannie says, looking cute. Uh, rocking those leggings. Teresa says, sounds like a lot more positive transformation than weight loss. Yes. That yes, is yes. our entire point in sharing that is it's not just about pounds or a diet. It's an entire transformation. Deb's whole personality has been transformed in the most beautiful way. Like she has just become more of who she 
seems like she's always wanted to be. Am I right about that? I feel wonderful. <laughs> All right. Teresa says, was Deb a private coaching client or a group member only? Deb is a private coaching client in the Diet Rebel Group Weight Loss and Health Transformation Program. How supportive did you feel the group setting was? It was very supportive because nobody held back anything. Each week, uh, you could see people growing and they would be tackling their problems. And it, I don't know, it helped me see my, my problems also. And I realized that I was not alone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing is that, you know, each woman comes into the group when she comes in. And so that means one woman is starting, another woman is working on her menus, another woman is working on her obstacles, another woman is working on nutrition hacking or daily food intake photos or self-care. And everybody hears what everybody else is working on because we discuss it, right, in the group. And so you get to see how each woman is growing and learning as she's losing weight and feeling better. So it's a holistic um, approach. Okay, let's see. Jeannie says, Deb, do you drink coffee? Yes. Yes. Two cups what do you put in? And what do you put, what do you put in it? I like mine hot and black. Do not touch my coffee. Hot and black. Hot and yeah. black. But Jeannie, guess who quit coffee? Trisha quit coffee. You don't know Trisha but from the Wednesday group, but she was a coffee holic two a day and uh, never even considered quitting coffee until I think she got sick and uh, felt sick and couldn't want it and didn't want it. And she was like, hey, I think I'm going to quit coffee now. <laughs> so and she and then she did. So amazing. Okay. Uh, all right. So on that note of what she just asked about the support, what's the one thing we did during this program or our support group meetings that by doing this made everything easier? Um, me, me, me doing the program easier, whole food, plant-based diet easier. Yeah. What's the one thing that we did during this program or our support group meetings that made everything easier for your weight loss and your health transformation? Wow. I feel like we've already said it all. Um, you could say it again. People forget real quick. <laughs> I'm going to say being open and honest uh, Honesty with each is a other. Big one. Yeah. Honesty is a big one. Did, did, you, did you do the beat emotional eating challenge as part of your, I think you did. Yes, I did. I did that. And that was so, my problem was emotional eating. And um, that's not why I wasn't a tough person like I thought I was because my emotions ruled me. Yeah. So uh, the first 12 weeks, uh, you know, we really tackle the whole food plant based lifestyle. We tackle feelings and self sabotage and limiting beliefs. And we tackle the food issues and the lifestyle skills. And then in the second three months, so Deb was in for six months. Most women in the group now are on six-month programs. If you have more than 20 pounds to lose, it's a six-month program or more, actually. Um, and so all the women do that beat emotional eating challenge in the second three months. So there's a whole section on honesty in there. Do you remember the day of honesty and that whole thing? So I'd have to go review it. Oh my goodness. So uh, <laughs> honesty is a big part of our program. And the fact that it's these small groups and the women get to know each other, even though some women come and some women go, right? They right. get to know each other and they trust each other to be open and honest. And in this way, uh, they can relax a little bit and they have a safe place to share these feelings. Because I'm pretty sure you don't go around talking about your cocky attitude just all over the place, right? Or your fear of shopping just all over the place. It's or private. My underwear. <laughs> or my underwear. It's private. And that's why this is also women only because we just don't discuss panty lines in a men's forum. So, uh, all right. So let's see what everybody's saying. Uh, Susan says, hot black coffee. Jeannie says, I'm down to one cup. Donna says, that's me, emotional eating. Okay, yeah. so uh, 
so what's what's your last piece of advice for anybody considering this whole food plant-based diet what what is it what um, do you want to close with take care of yourself because nobody else will Ooh. and if you cannot take care of yourself you cannot take care of anyone else oh snap you said it not me <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. I did a whole live stream on people pleasing last week. Was that last week? I think it was uh, mm -hmm. on people pleasing and how women who get stuck in a people pleasing mode of lifestyle, they get sicker and sicker because they never take care of themselves and everybody else's needs are the automatic first thing. So you said it so well. Uh, all right. So um, I just want to give you my biggest congratulations on the 40 pound weight loss. I'm so proud of you. And also, I'm so proud of you for coming on here and telling your story because it's, it's up to you when you feel open enough and proud enough that you want to share it. And I'm so tickled that you have reached that point in your journey that you're just, you know, willing to share. And I thank you so much. Well, thank you, Naomi. Thank you. All right. So I am going to stop the live stream. Uh, what I want to say to everybody who's listening is that uh, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to do a group Zoom for anybody who's interested in Diet Rebel. Um, if you are interested in Diet Rebel, you can go ahead in the comments and comment Diet Rebel, and I'll know to reach out to you and send you that Zoom link. And you can join me and I'll tell you all about the program and you'll find out how much it is and you can ask me any questions and all of that stuff because we have uh, the new groups are starting this week and I don't want you to miss out because it also includes going all the way through November, right? That's a three month program and a six month program is going to take you all the way to the end of the year. And I have a special exclusive holiday planning session that I do with all Diet Rebels and it's very, very useful. So, um, so good night, everybody in the Plant Power Woman group. I hope that you were inspired by Deb's story, and I will see you all in the group. Good night. Deb, hold on okay. there. Okay.